hi guys welcome to my channel if you're just tuning in my name is ada aditunji and today i'm going to take you guys back into what has happened in the entire course of the year yes we're going to be looking back all the way from january okay so this is not to pepper anyone this is actually to get someone encouraged to get someone inspired and motivated okay hopefully so at the end of this video someone would re-strategize and launch in big into 2022 so right after the break we'll get into it welcome back guys so like i said i'm going to take you through my journey for 2021 i'm going to start with things that went on well with me and i'm also going to share with you things i expected that never really came my way and i'm also going to be sharing with you what i'm going to do better in 2022 so let's get right into it guys <laughs> I'm going to start with the positives yeah things that have worked well for me first i have here is my body goals yes so i started the year with some baby fats and hair yeah? i was really intentional about my weight i was really intentional about how i want to look you know and a lot of body shaming here and there as a three time um cs mom i wasn't really bothered about anyone i wanted a particular fit for myself and i went all the way i'm not there yet but with consistency i'll get there so actually guys i lost 10 kg it's a huge deal for me so guys yes it's in my positives so moving on my marriage okay so this year i'm not saying that my husband was less annoying no he wasn't actually he was more annoying but i was in control of what i actually wanted for myself so you know i have told myself particularly whatever reasons i'm going to be more forgiving this year i'm going to be more expressive and i was going to love more so all those i unleashed and if he's here i think he should drop in the comment section that I should be given an award this year as the best wife of the year. So, okay, so I... moving on to parenting, I would say, okay, so my daughter is 10. So this year I registered with another parent coach. And so far, so good. I really do not want to get it all wrong because I'm the face they are seeing almost at home. You know, my husband always been away. I, I'm just all about being an intentional parent and he's been working for me. So box, tick, Okay, so moving on to my career, ladies and gentlemen, I still have my work and I am super proud of myself. A lot of people lost their work, a lot of people um, got dismissed. So many things had happened from 2020 to 2021. Well done, Ada. Well done. Okay. So my finances is another thing I tick the box here on. I'm not saying I had more money before urgent two kids will rush me. I'm just saying that I became more organized. I became more strategic with my funds. You know, I planned more around my finances. I got few things I wanted to get. I said no to a couple of persons that asked for money just because I wanted to be very strategic with my spendings and financial goals on point to tick. Okay, so friendship goals, yes, yeah, so. I now have streamlined my friend list to just five and that I've been struggling to do because um, the life of every party, you know what I mean? So a couple of persons calling you friends, giving you J's, you know what I mean? So I've been able to streamline to just five friends. You might want to call me to find out if you are part of my friends. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to other side things I set up for myself. This YouTube, it's something that's giving me joy. This was something that I've been planning for a while now. And I decided to launch in October. And it's been it's been ongoing well. And I'm really grateful for this platform. All my subscribers, thank you so much for every one of you. I love you to be. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to things that didn't really work well for me and i know a couple of persons will look at me how i carry myself outside and they feel everything is fine for me trust me it is okay to let go sometimes and to replant so this year i set out to do a couple of things and they're my big goals actually and they didn't really click how i wanted you cannot come and die. so i am here today to tell you that it is just okay if you don't get what you're looking out for don't get suicidal don't get so depressed you know snap out from your depression and forge ahead with your life so 
top of my list here is my career i wanted to really really go up in my career you know and really put things in place i applied to, for so many opportunities that didn't come yeah i got depressed at a particular point in time but here we are it's not the end of the world so i try again in 2022 and hopefully something comes next on my list is health okay so this year particularly i didn't pay close attention to my health and i would say i became careless and my health deteriorated and i'm not as strong as i used to be it's not something i'm coming here to talk about to get pity or whatever no but by next year guys we'll get back at it so Another thing here on my list is luxury. I had a couple of things I've written out to achieve this year that I didn't achieve. One is vacations, two is some luxury gadgets I actually wanted. So I I didn't get all those and it's just okay. There's a certain amount of money I expected to have by the end of um, the year. I didn't reach that expectation. <laughs> so what am i going to do differently going into next year i have a relocation plan here number one on my list so yes next year i'll be relocating nobody should ask me where but i know it's going to come as a shock to a couple of persons or a girl cacans. so yes relocation plan on my mind for 2022 then number two here is acquisitions there are certain things I've written down I'm going to acquire by next year, ranging from certifications to some properties and some things like that. So there will be lots of acquisitions for next year. Jehovah Shade again. <laughs> okay, so another on my list, number three on my list is career. So I'm going to relaunch and I'm going to target to go up. In my career life then number four on my list is health i'm going to be really really conscious about my health and um, i'm going to make sure i stay healthy because i have a lot of people that are depending on this skill that is alive today so i'm not going to take that for granted okay so the last but not the least on my list is my finance i'm going to add another stream of income to myself and I'm going to expand financially. I'm going to acquire. I've written down how much I need in my accounts by the end of December 31st, 2022. I'm just praying to God for life. So um, hopefully I've been able to share how it's been for me. So to want someone out here who is feeling so depressed, you've not acquired what you wanted. You wanted to get married. You wanted to have children. You wanted to get a job and they are not forthcoming. There is still hope because you are alive. Stay strong and relaunch for 2022 and you will get it right. Just keep going. Never give up. And to my new joiners, thank you so much for staying on here with me. Remember to click on the subscribe button and to tell someone to tell someone to tell someone about this channel. And to my all-time favorite viewers and subscribers, thank you so much guys for your support. Feel free to drop a comment in the box below. And my next episode drops, guys. I still remain your fave girl Ada Adetunji. Thank you so much, guys. And this is me signing out from 2021. Happy New Year, beautiful people. Enjoy the rest of 2022.